Thunderdome boxing talk. Uh, let's get into this um, the HBO card. I'm, I'm tired, so. Alright, uh, <clears throat> what do we have, man? Damn, I'm sorry, uh, but we had uh, Walters Mariaga is the main event, but we had fucking Verdeo on his HBO um, debut up against uh, Ivan Nazera, who came to give Verdejo a fight. <clears throat> Looks like this camera's a little blurry. I'm trying to fix it. I don't know. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll do that fight real quick. <sighs> Props to Ivan Nazar, or, or yeah, Ivan Nazar. Come, he, he came to fight, man. Um, those are the kind of fights that you know prospects or you know content up and comers need. So just like they were saying, man. I've I've always said it. I think Top Rank is clearly the best. Um, they have the, the the best track record of developing young fighters to. Uh, would, I think Lampley put it like reach their full potential or something like that. They really know how to match people and you know step them up, tiny steps at a time, keep climbing them, you know, and get them tested. Have a guy who can fight but isn't like Max said that a devastating KO puncher. So that you know possibility wasn't really there. Could have happened clearly, um, you know, because he can punch. He's just not a devastating KO puncher. But that you know, that's how you bring a guy up. It is, um, and you step him up again because you clearly saw he could handle that guy. Uh, man, for Dejo though, he he does remind you a lot of Tito, huh? Like he's he's not Tito, not yet. I mean, he never will be Tito. You know, Tito is one of my favorite fighters, but he doesn't have that devastating KO, just crunching power like Tito did. But he is. A more well-rounded. He has it. He has the tools to work on. Clearly, that will make him uh, a more well-rounded fighter if he, you know, reaches his potential, which I think he will. Um, it went to a decision. You know, unanimous decision. Uh, per, you know, pretty much won every round. Um, for. I loved how when he got, when, the things that reminded me of Tito is like his stance. Um, he got good power, but it's not Tito power. He has that when he gets hit, he got angry, and you saw it. Remember how the best Tito would come out when he got knocked down, or hurt, or hit with a good shot, man? Uh, I, I love that about Tito. I like that about Verdejo. You know, you hit him, he's coming at you. You know, expect you know, fire in, in return. I, I really like that about the kid. Um, I kind of thought that he would get um, Najera out of there, but then we hear after, you know, we heard in the corner, um, they were talking about, well, if your hand's hurting, you know, just, just, just use that jab, just box the kid to a decision. Um, so maybe that's the reason why he didn't get him out of there. His left hand was... I think I think it's broke, honestly. Um, you know, they said he was gonna have uh, surgery on it, so you know, he saw there was something damaged in there. It'd be a metacarpal or something. Um, we'll have to get to specifics. I don't have them yet. I was just uh, you know listening to what they were talking about, and I heard what they were saying in the corner. Um, I thought he would get him out of there though, but that that could be the reason why he didn't. <clears throat> and you got to remember, I think I'm. Um, the one came with a left. The one of the knockdown, he knocked him down twice. The one came with a left uppercut. Right? It was a left, yeah. And the other one was a uh, left hook. And he, and he came into the fight with hand problems. So it's, it's sad, though, when you hear, you know, a young guy um, with so much potential already is, is having hand problems. Um... It's it's troublesome, you know, at a young age, because you know that hand is gonna really be destroyed by the time his career comes to an end. You know, uh, it could be really 
destroyed in a year, man. You know, get him a few more fights, training on. You can just do it, destroy it on the heavy bags, man. So you know that sucks. I, I hated when they said he, he was having surgery on his hand. I was hoping, you know, he, it just ballooned up. Um, you know, maybe real bad bruise or something. When I heard surgery, I was like, ah. What? Why? Well, hopefully they do a great job. They said it didn't. They seemed like it was able to be um, repaired fine. I mean, the top rank sounded like they were giving out positive um, feedback on how the surgery would turn out. So you know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see though. Um, but you know, the kid has it all, man. What was some of the stuff I said I liked? Uh, I didn't write anything out for that fight. Um, he had a good body attack. Uh, you know, he's a he's a banger. He is fucking huge uh, for a lightweight. I don't know how he's making 135 so easy. I don't, man. It's almost like Nicholas Walters at, at featherweight. He's huge. Um, you know, the only problem is, you know, Nicholas Walters couldn't make weight. Uh, Verdeo made it quite easily. It's it's wild. He's he's huge, and like well, I was even like trying to look at his legs to be like, his legs like pencil, like little little twigs, and they didn't look like like anything small. I mean, I don't know where, huh, I don't know where this you know he, he takes his weight off at. I just don't, man. Unless he's able to dry out like nobody's business. I don't know, man. But the kid is. A possible, uh, so as a possible star, you know, we're we're gonna have to see. He never looked. He he looked perfectly fine through that whole fight, comfortable. Uh, this is the the big stage wasn't bothering him. You know, he he seemed composed, uh, patient, except for when he got angry. Uh, but that's good. I mean, that Max is like he needs to work on that. No, I man, keep that in his you know thing. Don't let him get careless. I did notice he got careless a couple times um, when Azura would come in and throw some big combos. He would just go to war with them. Um, he only did it a few times, but you can't just do that with anybody. You know, hopefully he knew that he could take Najera's punch, and that was the reason. But. You, you got to watch out with that. Um, but, you know, when you get hit, you got to fire something back. I'll tell someone, you know, don't don't calm down. No, man, but that's what you do. You know, if someone hits you with one, you got to hit them with two. That's, that's how you win. Um, Verdeo's, uh, I need to see him fight again, but he's clearly going to have some time off. Uh, sucks, you know, it is what it is, though. Walters. Walters or Mariago. I only, I think I gave, uh, I have the score here somewhere. I think I, I don't know, I think I gave him two, uh, two, two, three rounds. I think I gave him three rounds, maybe two. Uh, but, you know, you could argue that Nicholas won every round. Uh, but there was a couple, you know, there was two or three rounds that Mariaga had that were real good. Um, so they, they were close, but I, I edged them towards Mariaga. Uh, he Mariago was coming on strong and at 11th and 12th, you know, and like, like um, Roy Jones was saying, what if Walters didn't have that 10 pound weight advantage in the ring? I mean, dude's a featherweight. No, I always say, you know, I tell people all the time, featherweight's coming at a buck 40, um, quite often, quite often, you know, but he came in at 145, um, and he, I think he was like a pound. Uh, away from the featherweight limit, so you know he's not. Even though he won, he ain't champion no more, which fucking sucks. Cause now that Lomachenko fight is in a unification bout, um, that that's terrible. But you know that's well, that's Walter's fault, man. You know that's you're a professional. Make the damn weight, dude. Make the weight. Um, I think he wanted. I think he knew that you know Mariaga is good. The dude can crack. He's fast. The reflexes. Uh, you know, beat him in the amateurs um, twice. I think Walters wanted a, a big size advantage so he could take them punches and be, be strong. And he, I think they miscalculated and kept him too big. Uh, kept him too big. They need to get him down to 140. 
you know, 140. Um, then you'll be able to, you know, dry out. I'm talking about 140 when he comes to the ring. Um, and then he'll be able to make that welterweight limit or featherweight limit easily. Can, and then the other question is, or is he just, you know, too, just too big for featherweight anymore? Can he not do it? That dude is huge for featherweight. Um, huge. He's way bigger than Lomachenko. But Loma is the full package, man. You know, when it comes to, oh, you know, one of the most complete fighters, pound for pound, period. Loma's right at the top. Right at the top. Um, you know, you can put argue he's the best. Um, well, you know, and there's other guys that have that argument too. I'm not saying that he is the best. I'm just saying you can make that argument. The dude has everything, and that would be the interesting thing. You know, how would he do with Walter's size? Walter can crack. For you know, he's fast. For 145, he was moving like a featherweight. You know, with with, with his speed at the beginning, because you got to realize, Mariaga and him were neck and neck um, on their like, their reflexes and their you know their their offensive and defensive movements. Um, you know, he's really impressive. The, the Walters is getting better and with every fight. Uh, you know, he looked good in the Darchinian fight. And he stepped it up in the Donaire fight. And then he stepped it up big time for this fight. I like how Max was like, well, he's going to have to take another big step up if he plans on fighting Lomachenko. But, oh, man, that's a, that's a fucking good fight. It's a toss-up, man. It is. It's a toss-up. Um... And especially if Walters is coming in, you know, over 140, even 140, it's still big. Um, you know, the, I understand a lot of what featherweights come in at 140, but it's still, he's big. He's a big kid you know, or a big dude, man. Um, I couldn't believe he was taking those shots. They definitely started the more, um, Mariaga shots. He was taking the shots good. I thought he was going to be like really hurt a couple times. Uh, he, because Mariago was landing that right, uh, you know, clean, clean. Um, but he was taking them until the end of the fight. You know, that 11th and 12th round, he was getting cracked. I think he was maybe getting a little tired because he was letting his hands go. Um, man, what was some of the, first of all, you know, uh, he, he had power on, you know, on your Walters, um, had power on everything. You know, he, he, he had a power jab. Um, that body work was some of the best body work I've seen, you know, recently. I'm not saying like of all, I'm just saying uh, recently. That was some of the best body work I have seen, and I was very impressed. Um, I don't know how uh, Mariago was taking those fucking liver shots. He got hit to the liver. You know what? Like a hundred times, some 86, 70, 80 like, times. It was crazy. And I know it affected him a couple times because he was clearly hurt from a liver shot. But he, you know, he never really showed any signs of about to fall or go down from any of the body shots. He is one tough son of a bitch, man. Tough. You got to give it up to Mariaga. Um, yeah. You know, he, he was losing every round. Um, but I really do think that weight had a, a, a big thing to play in it. Not that Walters couldn't have done the same if he was, you know, five pounds less or something. Um, but that the weight definitely had a factor. You know, he had more weight behind his punches. He's able to absorb more punishment. Uh, he's able to dish out more punishment. So, you know, it, it, it definitely had. He's able to muscle the guy around. Even though they weren't really, you know, tussling, they were kind of just keeping their feet planted and going at it, taking, you know, little steps forward and backwards. It was great, man, you know. The the, the, the liver shots and the body work, I just couldn't get over them. I was loving it. I was loving it from Walters, man. Um, what else, you know, like I said, he was getting power in every shot. He had great reflexes, offensive and defensive. Only thing is, I didn't like how he kept getting clipped with that right hand. Um, you know, maybe it's maybe Mariaga. It's a little sneaky, 
and he was getting it in there, but you know, he was getting it in there. Um, you know, he, he's gonna have to watch out. I liked, I liked how Walters, um, you know, is really his just form. You know, his form, uh, like his stance. He's able to deliver, you know, maximum power. Uh, good angles, combos. He's ready to return fire at all times. The how many times did he knock down Mariaga? Uh, I know he knocked him down once at least. Yeah, I think I only have uh, one knockdown in eighth. When he threw that, you know, counter right, the straight right, and it just glanced off like his eye. Um, but look how he was in position to just fire immediately. He was like that all night. Um, and anytime he got hit, anytime Walters got hit, he was bringing it to you. Um, if Mariaga got a good shot on him, Walters was attacking him. Attacking him. And if that happens with Loma, they're going to be nonstop just going to war. Like, that would be an epic battle. Because Loma, we know Loma, you know, he might start a little slow. And then once he picks up, he's fucking all over you. You know, he's all over you. Non-stop, just firing from every angle. I really want to see how, uh, you know, him and Walters mesh, you know, because they're both two, uh, two tough dudes. Tough, tough dudes who there's, I don't see either one of them, you know, wanting to concede the fight. They're going to go at it, man. They're going to go at it. I just hope Walters can still make the featherweight limit. I just hope he can. I know it's only a pound, and like people always say, it's only a pound. It's only two pounds. It depends, you know, on your age, uh, what weight classes have you fought at, you know, how how easily have you been making that weight so far. There's a lot that goes into it. You know, now if you, this was, you know, Walters, you know, third, fourth weight class or something like that, then clearly he'd be able to make the featherweight limit easily. Um, and I think the same goes for other weight classes too. But, you know, he's big, clearly big. Like, he's really a 130 pounder. Uh, but, like I said, they might have just miscalculated. I'm hoping that. Because I was really looking forward to that Lomachenko fight. Um, it might, you know, I hope it don't get pushed back or some shit because they're going to try and grab that title up, you know, give um, Walters, like, a uh, fight against someone else for the, the, you know, the vacant title. Um, that might happen, and then we might not catch it till you know, what, probably in the beginning of next year. You know, it's, I hope that don't happen. Um, I'll kind of be pissed, you know. I don't see anyone at welterweight. Or why do I keep saying welterweight? I'm so I'm, I'm exhausted. I don't see anyone at featherweight beating Nicholas Walters except Lomachenko, and I don't see anyone at uh, featherweight beating Lomachenko except Nicholas Walters. Those are the only guys who they're the top dogs. There's there ain't no one else fucking with either one of them. Uh, I can see those guys having, as long as Walters can keep making featherweight, I can see them having a great featherweight trilogy. You know, I, I can, man. I, I think they're going to put on an epic battle. I think that first fight is going to be, you know, off the chain. It's going to be amazing. Um, I, I don't know, man. I'm just picturing it in my head. and I, I just picture firepower coming from every, from everywhere, from both guys nonstop. Um, and that kind of fight gets me uh, hyped up, you know, hyped up. So let's hope we get it next. Let's hope we get it next and they don't have to do some bullshit with Walters at a catch weight or, or he has to just go up. Um, let's hope he can still make the featherweight limit, man. Let me know what you thought about these fights, what you think about Verdejo, uh, Walters. Lomachenko, or you know, any other, any of the other featherweights too. Anyone you want to see him matched up, up up with? Who do you think can beat him? You know, who do you think has a chance to beat him? I, I honestly think it's only Lomachenko. But let me know what you think. Um, you know, 
whatever about Verdejo too. I know I talked about him in other vid and we kind of went into that, but Thunderdome Box, I'm talking. Let me know what you think, man. Peace.